Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, I'm going to take this Braun electric razor apart piece by piece. Just like in many of my other previous What's Inside videos, I'm looking for salvage parts that I can use in other projects, and that was a good quick glimpse as to what we're going to find once we have this Braun opened up. The outside pieces all come apart pretty easily, and they were intended to do so. Once we get past the foil and the foil frame, we're going to get to the cutter block and another little outside cutter. All of these pieces are easy to get off and on, but once we start taking screws out, we will void the warranty. So don't do it unless you've got one like I have that was given to you to take apart for this very purpose. Once you have the first set of screws and covers out of the way, it starts to get a little bit more difficult to get the pieces out. But you can work out a little bit harder and keep going with it because they will slide apart and it will be able to put it back together if you want to. Eventually I do get to a point where I push a little too hard on a couple things and they break. So caution is the rule here. Be careful if you really want to put this back together when you're done. When you look to the bottom side of a razor like this, you're going to know that right around the area where the power cord plugs in, there are these little screw hole covers. we got to take these out so we can get to the screws, remove them, and then pry off the rest of the bottom part and get to the inside of better parts like the motor. Although I'm not really going to focus on it, I do want to point out that right where my thumb is as I'm taking this apart, there are two LEDs on the underneath side connected to the PCB. There's a red one and a green one. These are perfect for uses in other projects too. This set of rechargeable batteries would actually be great for another project if they still worked. I think the reason this was probably donated to me for the purpose of destroying it was because it would no longer hold a charge, which made it pretty much useless. However, I would have loved to have had that rechargeable battery and I would have kept the charging set on the chip inside intact to be able to use that. Like a lot of the other devices that I've taken apart, I enjoy getting these kind of motors out of them. There's a lot of fun things you can do with them in other projects. This particular motor happens to be a 2.4 volt micro motor, which is actually pretty quiet and it's capable of over 10,000 RPM. Although I could have gone ahead and desoldered, then resoldered the wire so I could easily get that motor out of there, I decided I'd go ahead and take a shortcut because I don't plan to reuse the body from this razor. With that done, I had basically disassembled the entire razor. As you can see, it's not that many parts and it's not that complicated, but it is pretty cool and I now have another motor I can use in a project. Hey, thanks for stopping by Dialed In DIY today. I hope you enjoyed watching me destroy this razor as I tried to see what was on the inside and what I could salvage for other projects. If you enjoyed the video, I'd love for you to let me know by clicking that thumbs up. And if you're looking for more videos like this, check out my playlist. I have one dedicated entirely to what's inside of stuff. Just make sure to come on back when you get a chance and check out more Dialed In DIY because there's plenty more to come.